Hi, I'm Agent Benson, and today I'll be showing you how to set up a Eufy doorbell. Here's what you'll need. A smartphone or tablet with the Eufy security app installed, and name and password to your wireless network. I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy S20 with 5G, so the steps might be a little different depending on your device. All right, let's get started. Go ahead and open the Eufy security app to begin the setup process. Review the license agreement, and if you agree, click Accept. Log in to your Eufy account or tap Sign Up to create an account. We recommend setting up two-form authentication and a strong password for the best security. If you want to allow the app to access your photos and other files, tap Allow. Since I want to save images, I will select Allow. Now tap Add Device. We're using the wired doorbell, so we'll select that option. Tap OK, and then tap Allow to let Eufy use the camera on your device. On the back of the insert, there's a QR code. You can either scan it or type it in manually. Select your region. I'm going to choose North America and then tap Next. You'll be brought to the installation instructions. Follow the on-screen instructions to get it set up. Eufy requires 16 to 24 volts of power. The app will test your voltage to make sure you meet the minimum requirements. Tap Start Now to begin the test. Now, hold the doorbell button down for five seconds until you hear a ringtone. When you do, press I've heard the ringtone to continue. A pop-up will come up asking to allow access to the device's location. I'm going to choose Allow All the Time. Next, you'll get a message to turn on Bluetooth. Once you've turned it on, if it isn't already on, tap I've turned on Bluetooth. Next, the app will connect to the doorbell. If you did it correctly, you'll get a message saying that your transformer is capable of powering the doorbell. If you get a different message, we recommend contacting a professional for help with the installation process. Since my voltage is fine, I'll tap Next to continue the setup process. Now it's time to connect the doorbell to Wi-Fi. Select the network you'd like to join and enter your password. Press Connect to continue. Now it's time to set up the included chime. Plug your chime in and wait until you see a solid blue light. It shouldn't take longer than a few seconds. Once you see the light, tap Chime Lights Up to continue. Now press and hold the sync button on your chime for two seconds. You should see the light start to flash blue and hear If you hear this, it's ready to pair with the doorbell. Tap connect in the app. The last thing we need to do is press the doorbell button to make sure the chime paired up correctly. Tap done and you're all good to go. If you want to invite family and friends to access the doorbell, tap Invite and follow the instructions. I'm going to tap Skip. But hold on, there are still some cool features that I want to show you. With 32 gigabytes of built-in storage, you can set up continuous recording without having a subscription. To do this, open your Eufy security app and tap on the gear icon in the top right of the doorbell preview window. Then tap on Continuous Recording and hit the slider to enable it. You can also select if you want to record all the time or if you want to make your own recording schedule. To watch recorded footage in the app, simply tap on the Events tab and filter by date, device, or video type. You can manage all your recordings here as well. Another cool feature is Face Snapshot Notifications, which sends you a picture of the person in front of your doorbell. This feature is turned on by default. You can also answer your door using Eufy's pre-recorded quick response. When you get a notification that someone is at your door, tap the notification to bring up the live view, then tap quick reply and choose from one of the pre-recorded replies. 
If you want to record your own reply, you can set that up in the app. Here's how you do that. Tap the gear icon. Scroll down and tap on Quick Response. Tap Add Quick Response. Pick a title for your response and then hit Continue. To allow Eufy access to your microphone, tap Allow. Press and hold the red button to start your recording and let go to stop it. Your recording has to be at least three seconds, but no longer than 10. Once you're done recording, you can press the play button to preview it, press reset to start over, or tap save to keep it. Your new response will now be added to your quick response list. And there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.